This is UCLA where you just see pizza hanging around. Hey, are y'all hungry? There's hella pizza up here. My locker right here, you know. I try to keep it clean. We have a barber that comes on Thursday. Cuts majority of team, team meetings here, offensive meetings here. I mean, you name it. This is what UCLA is all about. How's it going everyone? I'm Kevin Wei. I'm a student here at UCLA and I'm teaming up with my friend Olu Olorunfamni, number four on Bruins football, aka the running back who vaulted over a defender into the end zone and together we're bringing you a lot of original content. Every week, we'll share a perspective in a day in the life of a Division I football player from working out in practice to going to class to living in the dorms. We want to accurately share the student-athlete experience and give you an inside look into college football, a look that many students and fans haven't seen before. This is Day in the Life of a UCLA Football Player. Hey, what's up? It's Man World Peace. If you're a high school kid trying to get into college or even a community kid at a JCC trying to get into college, you have questions, concerns about what it takes, the experiences, go to collegekevin.com and he'll answer all your questions. And on this first episode of Day in the Life of a UCLA Football Player, we're gonna check out the Wasserman Football Facility. It's brand new. You guys just built this, right? Yeah. You guys have team meetings here. This is where they get food, food. practice, get better overall. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more original sports content. Check out Bolu's stuff, link in the description. And let us know in the comments what else you want to see. And without any further ado, let's go check out the Wasserman let's Football Facility. Let's do it. Right now, we're on the field. This is our field. Right here, we have practice on here, events, you know, charity events, things like that. It's this is this field is used for a lot of things, mostly you know for for us to get better for practice. So offense, defense, we're usually on this field, and then on that field, offense, like individual stuff, we're usually on this field. Defense, individual field, right here. And it's a lot better than training on the IM field before oh they built God. the um, the facility. Way better. I just was on the IM field yesterday. That was not the business. <laughs> it's hot. So when you were coming here to get recruited, like was this like a big part of like why you wanted to come here? Well, this wasn't here when I got here. So really I didn't commit off of this, you know, I committed off of, you know, UCLA, the culture, everything that, you know, the school embodies. I was fortunate that the guys behind me who got the job done were able to get this built. And, you know, now I'm living, I'm living the dream. If I was getting recruited and they had this, I still would've came here. Yeah. But, you know, it's nice, it's nice to be here when this wasn't here and to see the change that's going on now, this building is tremendously like, this can make a team go from three and nine to 12 and 0 real quick. You have the weight room here. This is the weight room. Squats, uh, deadlifts. Interesting, interesting fact though, these windows right here, they actually go up so they're open. So usually when we lift, like we do our little warm up and we just literally walk and run into the rain room. Oh, you just walk right in through here. Run, run in, just these right here, these windows raise up. Ooh, <laughs> they raise up and they they open up and so it's like it's an open open kind of like deal you know and it's so nice lifting here with the windows open it's crazy it's with the music blasting the music blasting the air is coming through you, you have this view like the fact that the field is right here and weight room is right here I'm telling you that does a lot a lot for us because before we used to our weight room was down underground in the basement, and then okay, <laughs> if we ever wanted to use the field, we had to go to the IM field. And that was like a walk, or or what well, we had to run. We don't ever walk, but you know what I mean. There's so many things we could do with just this one rack. So many different exercises. We have the thick bar. You see, we go by kilos, by the way, too. So. Oh, not pounds. No, we go by kilos. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know, but you know, I'm used to it. I kind of like. Working with kilos, it's kind of cool. Okay, <laughs> so quick math, Bo, what is your squat bench deadlift? Squat, 190 kilos. There's still, you know, room to get get that higher, so don't judge me. Of course. 190 kilos, uh, and then bench, 130 kilos. What was the last one you asked me? Deadlift. Ooh, deadlift. I had, last week I had 210. All the numbers I just gave you guys, go multiply that times 2.2 and that's your answer in pounds and there then, you go then we can talk yeah <laughs> all right so we got the field we got the weight room what else we got we got the locker room let's go check out the locker room locker room is just a chill place it's, it's more than just before or after something like literally like today's sunday people are down there right now probably you know 
either showering or either getting the ice bath. And there's so many things you can do in the locker room. And that's why this building is a blessing for us. Like, go to the training room, you can get treatment, ice bath, all of that. Like, we get it done over here. Like, and everything is with your, with the power of your finger. Oh, it's all fingerprint. Watch this. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Watch this measure. Oh, it's the UCLA technology. <laughs> Bro, you keep getting shocked. No, this this door, it does that. I'll tell you. That. Oh, <laughs> I just got shocked too. Yeah, totally. So, you see the wall? Mm hmm. You see this? It's always a weird. People down here right now, you know, guys just getting a shower in or just in the rollout. There's so much things to do about it. Early Sunday works? Yeah, there is. Some guys be working. So are these are uniforms? Yeah, these are combinations. The one in the middle was the one that we would be wearing that game. So it would be whatever, if it was this combination or if it was this combination. This is basically, the one that would be here, the, uh, the mannequin. It was the one that we'd wear for the game. But this is what, you know, our jersey combination. We have more than this. We have all white too, all white helmets. And then this year, stay tuned, you never know. There might be a surprise, so I'm not gonna say anything. I see you have like a barber shop right over here, right? Whatever your barber is, you just have them come over here, cut you up, do what you gotta do. Usually, uh, we have a barber that comes on Thursday that kind of cuts the majority of the team up, but if you have like your own personal barber, you can tell them to come. We have this chair right here, we got the, we got the whole barber kit right here. This is a recruit. So when recruits come here, this is what they see. Yeah, it's just like future bro. Like this, this could be your locker type of deal. You know what I'm saying? My aisle right here. This is where it gets, the job gets done. It's my locker right here. You know, I try to keep it clean. It's my workspace here. You know, I got the roller. You know, got the different cleats whenever I want to wear. Get a quick outfit change here. Yeah, this is the best thing about the locker room though. Like sometimes in the morning, like when I don't feel like finding clothes for what I'm gonna wear that day, I just wear whatever I have on, come here, and then I have, I always have extra clothes here. You never know what kind of situation you may be in. You might have to stop by the locker room real quick. This is the locker room right here. I'll take you up to our meeting rooms. Go up to the second floor. I feel like I'm on MTP Cribs. MTV Cribs. Yeah. Day in the life of Bolu, MTV UCLA Cribs, football. Baby. Best thing about this, look at these elevators. Damn, the lights are flashing. Like, and these elevators are fast. Okay, that's Where better than the ones in the dorms. Oh, yeah. Dykstra has nothing on this. <laughs> Dykstra's elevator has nothing on this elevator. Welcome to the second floor. Welcome to the second floor. I'm gonna take you to the team auditorium first. Here's oh. where we have dinner, dinner, breakfast, all our meals. I like these blocks over here, all American wall. Yeah, yeah. You know, one day I'm trying to get on there. One day. We meet here, uh, we'll meet here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday now. We do this thing with our heart rate technology where we come out, come down here. And the team meetings here, offensive meetings here, I mean, you name it, whatever meetings, it goes down here. This is what UCLA's all about. Can't look at that view and tell me this is it's not one of the places to be not one of the places to be right it's beautiful and like i said like i was here i was here for two years before they built this so i had i had two years of what we had over there and so to have this now it's just a blessing and it's a privilege too it's That's not cool. like a lot of this stuff we have to keep earning it so Everybody that comes in, even me who I'm here, I have to keep earning it every day. Every every day we work, keep earning it, keep earning it. Because, you know, you, just because you have this doesn't mean you've arrived. You still got to go play games and win games and get those championships. Look at these. You got outlets Come on. and the USB. Come on now. You feel me? Stay charged. Stay charged up. These are all donors. So every person that gave money to this building and I think to this right here, they all got their little name. So that's kind of cool. If I would have known, I would have gave him like five bucks, put my yeah. name, put my name on a chair, and then that way when I go sit down, he's like, bro, my name's on that chair. Get up. It says Bolu Olu. Ah, Bolu Olu. That's what they call me. So through the doors, through the doors, and so I'm gonna take you to the wall. Connor McDermott, play with him. Baller, baller. Never play with him, but I know he's a baller. He's on the wall. Oh yeah, we all know about him. Green Bay Packers about to go crazy. Hold on, gotta get him on the camera right here. Paul go. Perkins. Go. Hear that name all the time at the Rose Bowl. You feel me? But as you can see, the walls, they got us on the walls. Ball security. 
It's all about the ball. You see all the greats we got up here? In Washington, McNeil, NJD, Jed, Holly P, all greats, Mel Farr, Gaston Green, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, not the one that you guys are thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Robinson, and the GOAT, Deshaun Foster. <laughs> Coach. Coach Deshaun Foster. But, uh, yeah, this is where we have our meetings right here. We know what each other's up to. Like, there is no surprise. There is no individuality. So you're super, like, closely knit with the other running backs. Of course. And other teammates. Other, like, defensive players. Like, I'm closely knit with all of them. You know? Everyone. Yeah. We're a team. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Washington tour. This is where we get it done. That's it for part one. Part two, go to my channel. And for all football-related activities, follow, subscribe. Thank you very much.